I'm Franz Sands, this is a 90 second boxing tip on the peekaboo style. Um, devised by the great, late great Customato, obviously boxing trainer of Mike Tyson, but before that he had guys like Floyd Patterson, Emil Griffith amongst others. And he devised the peekaboo style and it's become a little bit of a sort of legend in, in its own lifetime if you like. But the peekaboo is really quite simple and uh, I coach elements of it but I don't sort of coach it per se because I see a lot of stuff that there's risks of it that you need to be um, aware of. Peekaboo is basically a defensively driven style that uses defence as attack and it's geared for, to allow shorter people to uh, compete with taller people at long range. So the hands stay high all the time, okay? And there's lots and lots of slips and rolls slips and rolls combined with explosive foot movements in order to draw the lead let the opponent's shot go over the shoulder and respond with straight shots if you looked at Mike Tyson he used to do an awful lot of straight shots off his slips so he'd slip as the, the shot would come he'd slip out slip in and then come back up with a straight jab and he'd out jab guys who were six seven eight inches taller I like to see the slips happen at the legs a lot of people do it at the waist, I prefer to see it happen at the legs, okay? It looks a bit different, but I just think it leaves you more effective. One of the problems is people often come very square on. Not such a problem when you're up close, if you go square on, you can generate a lot more power and leverage. At long range, if you're square on, there is risk involved, okay? So now I could do a 10 minute video on peekaboo. That's a 90 second boxing tip on the peekaboo style as coached by Customato.